माई डियर लव होप यू आर डूइंग वेल यू आर माई ब्यूटिफुल पर्सन विद प्योरेस्ट हार्ट एंड आई फील ब्लेस दैट यू केम इन माई लाइफ एंड हेल्प मी अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन रियल एंड फेक You might not know how you managed to do so. That's why through this letter of mine, I want to share my feelings on this. When I talked to you for the first time, you felt like a breath of fresh air. I had a sleepless night. When I met you, I was instantly love-struck. A bolt of thunder and lightning hit and shook me from within. Even when I was with other guys I had a smile on my face an unexplainable happiness had taken over me I had never felt that way before even though I had spoken to other girls and had both good and bad experiences After having my share of heartbreak I only wanted the best girl for me the one who was made for me intended for me Talking to you made me feel that I had finally found that girl. My condition was of a lovesick guy who only wanted to meet you in person and I was aroused on all levels. I might have gone overboard with my communication back then. But I did not know any better. And imagine this was my condition right after the first conversation. The minute you would say bye to end a conversation the next thing i would do was to immediately start scanning your social media profile and go through as many pictures as i could i was so attracted towards you i could not put a finger on exactly what i got so hooked on to but it was everything about your personality that drew me to you your online profile was lit and it seemed you were living in a different world and you were living a different life as compared to many others that i had come across you were unique you were different and you stood out i looked at your pictures and many videos i checked wherever i could to know you better but i stayed stuck to your smile and face and i thought would a girl like you ever fall for me Even though I had many other things to do but I kept checking you out and I was dancing on the moon every time I thought about us. Yes. I had already created the dream of us. And in between the day if we ended up talking to each other I would blush and I crushed on you very hard. But I also knew that you can't just be a crush or I hoped I hoped that you were not just a crush or infatuation. because i had already started thinking about us and i'd started making exciting future plans with you i have told you before i found you to be the most interesting person i came across and nothing much changed you would probably find this to be funny because back then i didn't know anything about you but i allowed my emotions and feelings to guide me through every time i used to seek help of my feelings it would lead me to you somehow that time it was making me very sure that you are the one for me every time i saw a notification from you on my phone i would jump with joy and an instant smile would take over my whole being but while i had this feeling for you Soon my insecurity started taking over me. I began to get upset with you. Even when you said something loving to me, I couldn't believe that you really meant it. From admiring your smile, I started getting very angry. I didn't know where this anger was coming from. So I thought it's because of you. Because you love to be mean 
or you probably were a mean person. Now this really troubled me a lot because on one hand I wanted you very badly and on the other hand I knew and I was very sure that I didn't mean much to you. It seemed to me that I was just a passing affair for you and I felt that the only way to find out and see that if you really loved me or not would be to make you pacify me after every fight. I wanted to see how much would you convince me. I started going overboard because even though I wanted to be with you badly, I started testing you out. I was always testing you at one point. All your words, all your behavior, how you were writing to me, your messages, even your updates on social media. I felt that everything was pointed towards me. The problem used to happen when you would suddenly give up on me and disappear. Back then I didn't realize that you why won't you go away if I would be so mean to you. So it was easy for me to block you because you hurt my ego right where it felt very touchy and intense. You were way too han- honest for me to handle back then. So I wanted to punish you. When I write all this I sound very insane but I also have to be honest with you because honesty is very important and I have learned this the hard way. In all of this my mother also had a role to play. I am not going to blame her because it's me who also had to learn to make my own decisions. But she had a certain choice of partner for me. She had told me that she knew better which girl would keep me happy. And since she had given birth to me, I also thought that she did knew better. But I learned that this doesn't apply to everyone and at every time. Maybe on some context she does know me better, but maybe in some she doesn't. I deserted you, and I didn't even think once how this type of betrayal would make you feel and so i went ahead with my mother's choice i blocked you from everywhere because i didn't want you to know what i was doing my mother was happy that i believed in her choice more than i believed on my own and i admit i gave up on you for her but i also did so because i genuinely thought she was right about this i never thought that i have my own issues with her too i have had those issues with her in the past so i blamed everything on you and she mentioned our differences many times as a reason of why you were not a good match for me and seems like through you even she had to learn the lessons about all that glitters is not gold for some time the arrangement i was in with my mother's liking everything looked normal Obviously we didn't know what we were dealing with but gradually there was a huge havoc in my life on one hand i had started missing you very badly and on the other the girl who i had chosen instead i started losing interest in her even though initially it had all looked perfect from outside but the one who was going through it all me i began to suffer too much I realized that girl didn't love me at all. But you only love me for real. You're the only one who loves me for who I am. She was after sex and money and using me to show off to her other lovers like a boy toy. She was using me for social status. She had presented herself to the world like a gift wrap offering and me and my family got fooled by it. I got many shocks upon shocks because of her behavior in front of the world that involved me. Social media was opposite from what she was in real. Her social media what she had presented was not at all matching with who she was in real life. It all scared me. and also showed me how easily i got fooled by the outer paint and color 
all of that was fake it was not real and you my love you are my real jackpot my real gold my real deal i cried a lot making this mistake alone in my room she humiliated me so much in front of the same people who had disapproved of you and i felt all of them ganged up on me they all judged me day and night when i asked her why are you so happy to see me in this state she said you deserve it i felt so devalued i felt so sick in my head not because i was a perfect person but because i did feel that i deserve it i felt that i probably did put you through more of what i went through my mother eventually saw my pain and my condition and we suffered together and it was my time to take control of my life again and i was willing to pay any price to close that dark chapter of my life forever i learned to differentiate between true and false it was important for me to do so and this time i had to do it on my own without anyone's support advice or interference i lost some friends and i also lost my old ways i lost the dependency on others especially my mother and despite losing all of this i gained wisdom and that wisdom led me back to you though i lost all those people and things but i found peace with myself and knowing that i had indeed chosen the right girl for myself what goes around comes back around and whenever i thought of testing you or teaching you a lesson you would go away for long and totally wipe me out from your life for few days it would feel right but as the time bomb would explode i would feel like a headless chicken i was indeed getting punished without fail by some invisible force and i felt that it was a result of troubling you then i used to swear that i will never trouble you if i would get another chance with you and just when i would feel you would never come back you would actually come back and we would start talking as if nothing wrong ever happened between us but alas i was egotistical that instead of remembering my words and learning from the situation i again started feeling that you have started to control me the long separation between us scared me a lot i really feel that you are not going to come back to me not this time and i have to do something about it but all those bad things they also make me feel that i needed to go through all of this it was so important for my growth i remember calling you immature but i was immature i remember saying many mean things to you just so you would go away just so you will never call me or message me again and when you actually did it for a good long period of time and i feel that there is no return i do realize what blunders i made i was not willing to face the truth i wanted everything hunky dory i wanted you to always say yes to me i wanted you to pamper me way too much i i was dependent if not on you then there were other things that i was dependent on and i i didn't choose the right side though i chose a side but it was not the right side i always used to choose a side and stick with it and this is what i would tell to others but when i took the wrong option myself i realized that it's not always important to just choose a side rather it's important to choose the right side
all of that is behind me now and i feel that we can make a fresh start this time around when i say fresh i mean really fresh a new start with all the lessons and all the new found love and respect and i know that all will be good between you and me because i now have faith and i have trust